What's up guys? Chasten Arbor here with another book post. Today we're going to continue with this massive story that is Washington A Life by Ron Charno. Now I didn't know the details of the American Revolution until I read this, so I had no idea of all the shit that Washington had to go through during the war. I mean, all the odds were against him. He had no food, no gunpowder, no decent soldiers, no money. This guy had nothing. Yet somehow he managed to defeat the strongest navy in the world. But I think what amazes me the most is how involved he was. Washington was right there on the front line, up in his horse every time. An easy target, you'd think, but he never got hit. Cannonballs would fall in front of him, spraying dirt on his face, and he would just keep on giving orders. Bullets whistling by, he didn't care. He just wanted to be there fighting for freedom, no matter the cost. When you think of George Washington, if you picture that old guy in the dollar bill, you're dead wrong. Just by hearing the story, anybody would picture Spartacus or Achilles or Alexander the Great. I think history has failed to portray Washington's image for who he really was. A fucking badass. Not that old dude with a funny haircut and a stink face. The American Revolution is the ultimate underdog story. It's the David and Goliath of the new era. And although many people may have learned about this story when they were kids, I didn't. And a couple months ago, it blew my mind, so I want to tell the story here. If you guys are interested, you can check out the book post here in English and here in Spanish to get a glimpse of the book. However, as usual, please remember all the reasons why I'm doing this kind of post. I'm not trying to it, provide you with a shortcut to the book contents. I'm trying to inspire you to read more books and to write about what you learn because reading is not enough. Don't forget about the question I always have at the end of the post. You can answer this one using hashtag Washington part two question. You can also suggest a better book in a sentence using hashtag book in a sentence, hashtag Washington part two or their Spanish equivalents. And finally, don't forget to go to chastenarbor.com slash books to check out more book posts. Peace.